what's up guys in this video i am going to show you how we will handle exception in apache camel so let's get started now let's hop to our repository so this is my repository like this so apache camel inside rdirect.in for the prerequisite of this video, we want eclipse.org. So eclipse is an ID which we need to install in our PC. Furthermore, this is the repository, all the codes which I am using throughout this video is available here. The link to this repository is in the description section of this video. Do check it out. Now to start this tutorial we are going to see how we will handle exception so for this i will what i will do is first clone this code from here and then to store it i have this exception handling right click open git bash and then git clone and it paste the url now my project is cloned okay. so for the practical i am going to use this one exception handling apache game so i will be going to use this project so let's open this project so this project is available on this one now copy this location go to eclipse and then file import inside this this existing maven projects hit this one and then hit next paste the url in the root directory this one root directory and then browse hit browse and this propom.xml should be in tick mark Hit finish so it is importing our maven project wait till it uploads it Now let me open my pin. So wait for this to be imported. Now my project is getting built. Wait for to get built. Okay, fine. So let's see the first the form dot x okay so these are the dependencies like this these two dependencies are not required json for this tutorial but this dev tools and the camel plugin is required this one channel the spring boot starter so i will close it right here and get this into this java and let's first see our routes so the flow of application so the flow of ap application is like the previous one let's comment it this one shift backslash okay so this is the flow of application so what i have done new is the if you haven't checked out my previous video on reading a ca using camel you check it out so this is act extension to that previous post so link to that post is in the description section of this video do check it out now this 
from what I have done is added one processor. So I get this one. So what it will do is it will act through one exception, which I have implemented using custom exception using exception class, right? And uh, I have thrown this exception and printed exception thrown. So what it will do is it, this processor will throw me one custom exception, right? Now what we have to do is handle this exception so for this we will see later in this part of the video so let's see what is happening right with the code right so what it is doing is picking files from file slash input that is my input directory input is there input is here now there is no file in the input so i will put one file so now there is files We'll put them output input input. Right. Now let's take my early. Okay. Now what I will do is run this application. Make sure this component is not cleared. Fine. Right? It is not commented. And so what I will do is right click and then run as Spring Boot app. okay so i am in where is okay so console is opening this one okay so it is starting yeah completing it on initialization okay processor file will delivery exception caught thing else which we have to see we have we want this message and right? exception thrown it should be thrown so what i will do is I click here and find find message exception thrown this is our message locked here right so this exception is thrown and we are having because we haven't handled this exception so we are this message is unable to get delivered right and this one is all also the message history is also disabled for this we will see this message history and what is it in our next video where we will discuss about on uh, json path for this video i am not telling about this one right so this message is not getting field delivery for message that means the files are not delivered right and uh, you can see from here that this one, if I refresh it, this file is right here, right? So the two method for handling exception is, is number one is this one. Number one method is, is like do try one, do try, right? So the problem with do try is, that it is only for one round that is if you want to configure for more than one route then you have to apply more than one do try expressions fine so this one is only for one route fine now the second which is available is exception on exception block on exception block so this on in the socket on exception block what we can do is we there is one exception so it can handle multiple rows multiple ROU TS rows now it can ha handle multiple rows so I will click here. so this is the diagram and the first method is this one right and the next method to do so is this one right now let's draw one line between them okay okay so these are the two methods which are quite available with us and this do try 
and another is on exception right so let's see all those methods so in the first method to do let's get into a route and since our application is not running i will clear the locks and i will comment this one out my previous code control shift and this so this one is commented right here and now what i will do is uncomment this code this one right so control this one and then so what it is doing is it was picking file from here like this previous one right this one and uh, do try fine it is like a try catch in java which we used to use now process my processor to this file now this this flow is the same fine except this do try is applied right here like a try catch block and then if there is an exception that will appear when this processor triggered this one now it will find that uh, we know that uh, this process will trigger an exception so on exception this catch block will work so do catch will catch this exception that is camel custom exception dot class we have defined it right this one this class and and print handling exception right and then it will uh, log the message body and then send it to the output one so what is happening is when an exception is occurred this flow of the route will work from here to his to try one and from here to here this this two will not work here right this two will work from here after this uh, exception is handled by do try do catch it this flow will execute from here this flow this one is not executed right? and is skipped if there is an exception occurred in this case right so let's run this one i have saved it my route and then hit right click run as spring boot Now see this content of the my file. Fine. We are not getting an error. Fine. So you can see the content. It's fine. Okay, so this file is copied, so we are unable to see. So let's see it in output of folder. Okay, so I will see it. Yeah, see this. Content is logged since the dollar body is working. Okay. So we are exception is thrown handling exception so this is available in our route and right? handling exception and when exception is thrown this is available in our process my process see exception though fine right? so this is how to do try since i have told you that uh, the limitation of this to try the limitation of this to try is that we can't we have to use it for only one route per route we have to define do try block fine to overcome this exception uh, this limitation this on exception block is invented right so this one we are going to see now on exception so it is possible for one or more route to have same exception right so for this one we will use this multi for multiple route this on exception block so what i will do is i will stop my application right here okay right and then comment this flow out this flow is okay so yeah here i will comment it out okay now I will uncomment this on exception one. Okay. Okay. 
now this one is unpermanent and also on exception so this route should also be uncommitted okay so we have uncommented our route so this one needs to be uncommented also see now we are getting no error i think that's the error now this on exception is also commented out see this This is the on exception lock, right? What is the with smoke? Yeah, okay, so this is my on exception lock, and this is a comment, right? So this is my comment. And this is my comment for this block. And this on exception block so start with on exception. And this is the exception which is getting it. So I just have to paste the routes right here. I don't have to worry about trying do try do try. I don't have to worry about every time the exception of this is occurred, it will be handled like this. So all the code is same as this one, but we are throwing exception here. Fine. And then this exception instead of uh, going through this whole one it will directly pass this flow to this on exception now after this handling exception is printed and this body is logged and then file is sent it to output right handled is true so this is the whole flow like the previous one now let's save this one flow and then right click run as spring boot Right. So this my app is running right now. Yeah. Now we have to input one file. So what I will do is I will paste this file, previous file here only. Yeah, see this. Exception thrown that this one will throw the exception. This my processor will throw the exception right here. See this right and here now my, since my try, try block is do try block is commented so this one is handled by handling exception this one fine and then receive the body receive body then body is locked that is this message okay. whole message and the file is directly sent it to output directly so refresh it and you will see it in the output directory fine so this is the whole workflow you can do it this for properties also and see this now properties is also see this props also now let's refresh it okay. so these are files which are available which i have sent and these are also locked in okay. so i will close this one process so this is how we will perform exception handling in our apache game once once again i will revise you there are two only two methods which is do try one which only takes one route per route we have to define do try for exception handling the another case is multiple routes and if multiple route have same exception you can define multiple routes one by one and then on in the inside this on exception block this one this on exception block just define the exception name that is this one and then this exception for all the routes are handled so if you want more support from us visit our website rdtech.com do like share comment on our video and for more videos, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.